Since 1999, we remain unbeatable in the cruise space. We are the masters of real cruise experience in Ghana. Sun Seekers Pulse welcomes each and everyone across the world. If Ghana is your destination, choose Sun Seekers Pulse and let's give you the best of experience in tourism in Ghana. Sun Seekers Pulse gives you that wonderful experience. We coordinate and facilitate every aspect of your tour experience and make sure you have the best of moment anytime you arrive in Ghana or choose the destination Ghana. And now we are ready to get into the last Saturday's experience with Azamara Jenny and the Takra Report. Stay and enjoy. Sun Seekers Tours. Memories of our tours are forever. This is our third cruise over the last three weeks into Ghana. Okay. We've been doing cruises since 2001 into Takradi okay. port and um, cruises since 1999. So Sun Seekers is um, 30 years old. Wow. Yes, yeah, this year. Um, we started in 1992. So and we started our first cruises in 1999 from, okay. from Tema port and now Takradi since 2001. So we've been doing that for, for a long time and we believe that we want to make each each port call uh, a good experience because that's how they keep coming back. So we see that's a little way of contributing to Ghana's tourism drive. started our first cruises in 1999 from okay. Tema port and now Takradi since 2001. Just like maybe if it was a cargo ship, they will bring in a port agent to come and clear the goods and the like. Your main thing is to make sure that the, the, the guests have a good experience. So we have come up with different shore excursions. Alright, so you're welcome to Kwame of uh, Exclusive. Uh, we're still taking videos and experiences uh, around Azamara Cruise experience. Uh, this morning we've been having interaction with a lot of the stakeholders and then I have one of the major stakeholders with us. Uh, I think we would have to uh, zoom in and then find more about the role they are playing with regards to the whole experience of what is happening around us. Uh, sir, Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Please, how are you doing? I'm well. I'm All well. Right. I'm well. I'm well. Um, um, we don't know you. Tell us. I see Kwame here with some yes, Seekers yes, Tours. Yes, um, yes, yes. Who is Kwame? And then okay, my name is Kwame Alson, and I'm CEO of Sun Seekers Tours. Nice. Um, so we are the official tour operator okay. of Azamara Journey. Mm. The ship is Azamara Journey, so Azamara Cruises. All right. And this is our third cruise over the last three weeks into Ghana. Okay. We've been doing cruises since 2001 into Takradi port okay. and um, cruises since 1999. So Sun Seekers is um, 30 years old. Wow. Yes, yeah, this year. Um, we started in 1992. So and we started our first cruises in 1999 okay. from Tema port and now Takradi since 2001. So we've been doing that for, for a long time. And we believe that we want to make each, each port call uh, a good experience because that's how they keep coming back. So we see that's a little way of contributing to Ghana's tourism drive mm. by making sure we do things right. Yeah. With regards to uh, this particular uh, program, uh, what role are you playing here at uh, this moment? Uh, okay. What, what role are you okay, so our team is here to ensure, see, cruise ships, the main, uh, the main, uh, the main, um, thing of a cruise ship is to see different countries. Okay. So the tours or the shore excursions mm -hmm. are the main reasons why people come on these trips. So 
they need a tour operator. Just like maybe if it was a cargo ship, they will bring in a port agent to come and collect the goods and the like. Your main thing is to make sure that the, the, the guests have a good experience. So we have come up with different um, shore excursions. The tours are called shore excursions when it comes to cruises. To give them a good feel of Ghana and a good feel of Takrade. Right. So we have um, tours around Sekendi and Takrade, we call the Twin City Tours. The Twin City Tour because Sekendi and Takrade are twin cities. Yeah. So we have certain highlights like the Bisabura Museum, the Fishing Harbor, Abu, 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 Tristan, Fishing Harbor. Um, the Fishing Harbor, the Fishing Harbor. We have um, 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 chances for them to go into town okay. and they have a cultural display expose mm. with some cold refreshment in town. We also have those who are going to central region, Cape Coast and Elmina Castles, okay. Kakum National Park, and also a few villages. Yes. Well, well, we, we, we do hear about this, but you realize that a uh, few Ghanaians even participate in things of this nature. Yes. I heard it's so expensive. What's the truth? It, it is, you see, there are different types of cruises. Okay. These cruises that come on, on this stretch of the world are, um, should I say, four, five, and six star ships. So they are more expensive to go on, and they are longer cruises. So they are for people who are semi retired and retired. Okay. So you may have quite a number of people who, you see, the average age is about maybe 70, 60, 70. You can see from how they look. Yeah. So they're either semi retired or retired. Most of them are on a journey of, their, of a lifetime. Okay. Or some of them are regulars who go all the time. So these ships maybe may start, they come this way either as part of a world cruise. And this world cruise is maybe about 180 days. A world cruise. So you're six months. If you're not retired, you can't be on a cruise for six for months. Six months. Yeah, you can't yeah so the, of course it's very expensive because every day you are looking at the four star hotel rates um, for let's say $100, $110 all your meals, all your experiences on board. However, there are also those about 21, 22 day cruises. What they do is that they, f when the ships, like for example, is getting towards winter now. Okay. So the ships are positioning from um, Europe towards the Southern Hemisphere. Mm. So they come across into West Africa. So they may go from maybe around Portugal um, and the like, Portugal, Spain, they're around Italy into the Maghreb countries, Morocco, um, or, um, and all those countries and then come across the West African coast on the way out. But over the years we've been able to position Ghana as what we call a turnaround port. Turnaround port is where a port where almost every ship going go. through mm. goes through. Okay. And um, it's been very, we've had Ghana Tourism Authority as one of our main partners, Ghana Parks and Harbors Authority have also been very very supportive because without these partners you can't have a good experience. I see. Because your ship will come in, it's out there. It's not even given right to birth. So Ghana Post and Humboldt comes in there. Ghana Tourism Authority makes sure that they sensitize the whole um, community to make sure that everybody's helpful to us. They prearrange these things for us, like the, 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 um, the um, uh, artifacts and the like. Okay. Then of course, this time around, we have a very, very Engage minister. The regional minister is a hospitality person. Yeah. He's grown up around hospitality. I understand his family has quite a lot of hotels and yeah. stuff like that. So he's very, very, he very engaged. He understands and he makes, he goes the extra bow. Yeah. So you see that most of the ships now come to Takwadi because they roll out the red carpet for us and make sure that things work well. They are in taxis that go take our, our people around and the like. Yeah. So all kinds of experiences are, 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 are made possible by our partners and ourselves. I'm our being told that dealing with these clients, you have to be careful. Every experience will count and then you can lose a deal. Absolutely. Uh, tell us more about that. Absolutely. Is the, the, there's the, main game, uh, the main thing is that it's a game of attention to detail. Tourism is a, a game of attention to detail. If you don't pay attention to detail, you're going to have a problem. Okay. One word in an itinerary can cause somebody to say no. You didn't deliver what I said, or you sold to me, mm. and therefore I'm not going to pay you. Okay. And it's you're not. It's an experience you're selling. So it's I didn't get the experience. What do you do? So you have to make sure that you dot all your I's, cross all your T's. 
make sure that all along you are really, really, um, what you tell them is what you provide. If there's mm -hmm. any change, you need to let them know in advance. Okay. And make the changes. Otherwise, you can't say, oh, today I came, today's not a fishing day. So you should have known, because it's sometimes book like maybe nine months in advance, or you know that that day is a Tuesday, mm -hmm. so there's no fishing. Mm -hmm. So you can't sell them maybe a fishing experience, and then you go and say, oh, Tuesday is not a fishing day. Yeah. Or I cannot say that, okay, you, I'll take you to a festival. Then one to the time, the festival changes. You don't tell them. Or maybe somebody, something happened. And then you tell them, I'm taking you to a festival. They did come to say, you can't see the festival. It becomes a problem. So it's very important that you pay attention to detail and you, you, you are, you are sure about whatever you've sold them is what you deliver. We do, uh, for, for those who are not around the coastal belt, for us, uh, we're fortunate that we're even in Takra, they are around yeah. the coast, and then we do hear about the cruise ships and the likes. Sure. Um, Ghanaians really don't participate in that pay or experience. So tell us about it, in terms of... Um, uh, it, 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 it's, it's a growing trend now. Mm. You see that most of um, Ghanaians who, who um, want to do cruises and things, tend to be, should I say, middle, mid-age and down. Okay. Because it's not part of our upbringing. We didn't know about it, but now because of the joys of social media, getting to know how people live elsewhere, you want to experience it. Then a lot of people get an experience of going, as, going out to maybe work abroad and they get to see that cruise ships are actually a good experience and a good way to have a holiday. Mm. So that now people start going on these trips. So they may not go on a long trip like this, but they might do maybe seven days or six days, five days. They may go to the Mediterranean, they may go to South Africa, do something within about four days to maybe Mozambique and back. So those are less expensive. Maybe that may be, you'll be surprised, maybe $3,000, $4,000. Mm. You can, but this sounds to be cold, maybe 20. So we, we have other ships with those packages absolutely, as well. Absolutely, absolutely. And those are like the mid-level ships. Okay. So for example, um, some ships, some um, lines, or should I say groups, have different types of ships. Okay. Like for example, you have the Carnival Corporation ships. So Carnival Corporation has Carnival cruise lines, which are mid-level, less expensive, do seven days, five days, three, even three nights trips. They have Holland America lines, like the ones who, who came last Sunday. Okay. You know there's a cruise ship here, the MS Zandam, it's from all of the America lines. It's a subsidiary. They have Seabone. They have different things. Some are from different, some are from Royal Caribbean, some are from other. Uh, like this was part of Royal Caribbean, but they're now on their own. Okay. Yes, and the like. So the Ghanaians are starting to do it, but it's, for example, Nigeria, they do a lot of cruises there. Oh, okay. they, don't, they don't come to Nigeria, but they fly to maybe South Africa and go and join the cruise ship. Ghanaians are starting to do that. Ghanaians are, gradually and it's all about uh, getting to know about it getting to experience it and the like right, so with, with regards to uh, hats where uh, the crew, they really benefit from the whole cruising experience uh, I was told that in Africa uh, Egypt that's better than which, which country is doing better uh, uh, in terms you see um, cruises usually sometimes the position of a country makes a lot of difference okay. and the unique things that country has have offer makes a lot of difference. Some of the countries that, like Egypt, everybody wants, the pyramids are not found anywhere in the world. So there's a reason why somebody going from Europe into Africa, you know, they have the Suez Canal okay. in Egypt. So that's the only place where you can take a ship through. So you're already in Egypt. Mm. So it positions them to get a lot of clients. Somewhere like Cape Verde. Cape Verde is in the mid-Atlantic. So they, they don't have much to see, but because of their positioning, they have quite a lot of cruise ships going there. Mm. Senegal is at the tail, is at the tip of West Africa. Okay. So they have quite a lot of ships. They are going, they are sea for seven days. They want to stop somewhere. Mm. They will get off and see something. But Ghana, just like where we are tagged in, because of our positioning as a center of the world, the way we've tried to work over the years, Sun Seekers Tours with Ghana Tourism Authority, Ghana mm -hmm. Post and Harvest Authority and the regional administration, we've been able to position ourselves as a turnaround port. And so people sometimes start their journeys from Tema or Takrade or end in Takrade, get bus to Tema and pick a plane out of Accra. Also aviation, um, because we have a lot of uh, 
airlines coming to Ghana, it gives us that flexibility also. That's another thing they consider. Okay. Can I stop my, 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 my journey in maybe Ghana and fly back to my hometown? So these are all things that go into, into determining. So South Africa, um, Cape Verde, Egypt, these are the leaders. To a certain extent, Kenya is also quite strong, yes. But we're also coming. We're also coming over the years. Yeah, we're coming. Right. Now, uh, with regards to how we're able to uh, attract a uh, target audience, or yeah. let's say some of the crew ship, uh, what strategy are you using in terms okay, of marketing? Okay, so, so we, in the past, we have almost individually done it. Mm. In terms of, as a company, Sunseek Stores, we go to certain crews first. Uh, we have relationships mm. over the years we've nurtured and that's what you, you use to get that business. But now, Ghana Tourism Authority and the Regional Administration of Western Region, together with Gapua, want to come in in a big way to support the whole process. Okay. So that we position Ghana as a, as, a, as a preferred cruise hub for West Africa, just like we position ourselves as an aviation hub for West Africa. Because you know, Nigeria is much bigger than Ghana, yeah. but almost every airline comes to Ghana before they even consider Nigeria. We have less resources and everything, but the hub, is for aviation is in, in West Africa is Ghana. The same way we're trying to position ourselves for the cruises. What we, we have some different things. We have two two ports that give two completely different experiences. Tema experience is totally different from what you're gonna do from Takrade. So it gives us certain comparative advantages. And then our people are friendly, they are nice and um, a welcoming and you don't get any security advice you saying that don't go here don't go here don't go here in Ghana you know I see. and one thing you must realize too is that very much so people want to go where they are safe so we need to preserve our, 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 our record in Ghana of being a safe country peaceful country it's very very important these are all very very important things. So, okay. I think yeah we've learned so much no it's a pleasure <laughs> We want to actually end this year and say big thank you to no, thank you. The role you're playing in the whole tourism space in Ghana. Big thank you. Uh, what's your full name? Kwame Anson. Kwame Anson. Yeah, Kwame Anson. Yes. Yeah, so, so Sun Seeker Stores is one of the leading tour operators in Ghana. Okay. Uh, we have been around for 30 years, I said. Over the last maybe um, 12 years, we've won Tour Company of the Year and about five, or five times by wow. the Ghana Tourism Authority. And so we, we try and do our bit. You're doing great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye.